I don't know the uh, name of the pattern yet. I have to look that up. But um, it's cool. It's in good condition. I'm going to put that in a bundle with this little... It's a case. I'm not sure if it's for a tablet or what, but I'm going to bundle these up together and also put these in an auction starting at 15. Vera Bradley sells pretty well for us. Yep. Good old VB. Yes. So this is, uh, I found this too. It's a shoulder bag and it's Furla. If you've ever heard of that, it's a pretty good brand. This isn't the greatest purse. It's kind of old and it's not very flashy, but a lot of their stuff isn't super flashy. But I kind of wondered at first about the authenticity, but I did a lot of research and I'm pretty sure that it's real. Um, it's in okay condition. It's missing the, the crossbody strap, but um, I can't, I, I mean, I found it. A lot of people just overlooked it because it's so simple and right. you know, plain. Right. But I'm going to put this up for 28 and see what happens. That's a good find, yeah, for the reasons that you mentioned, because it doesn't look like anything yeah. but when you know the brand. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. That was on my bolo list, so I can cross that. Well, I cross it off that I found at least one thing. Hopefully I find some more. I found this. This is a hobo tote. Hobo the brand, Hobo International. It's pretty. It's in pretty good condition. It's really cute. I like the color. Um, this one I'm gonna throw up for thirty-eight dollars. Josh found this. People are gonna think I'm just like not useful at all <laughs> when I go to the bins. Yeah, I think I got this for Olivia. Um, well, we can... It's an underwater, and oh, we didn't say what it is. I think it's apparent, but it's a <clears throat> case. It's a waterproof case waterproof for a Waterproof case for a camera, yep. so you can go underwater. We can probably get 25 to $28. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, so maybe I not... wasn't crazy on this one. No. Yeah, it's hard to un undo. You have to... I don't know why I'm not doing this. Yeah, one. anyways. 40 M. So you can go 130 feet, although I wouldn't suggest doing that unless you're a trained and professional diver. But, yeah. Don't <laughs> way, do this Way to watch out for the YouTube viewers. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't, don't go that deep, please. <laughs> don't go that deep and then be like, you guys told me that this would go underwater. Yeah. I would just snorkel with it. Is snorkel in Costa Rica? Yeah. In the CR. <laughs> We're gonna get a beach house there soon. Oh. Soon as nice. in like <laughs> 10 years from now. These are Dolce & Gabbana, and I checked the authenticity. They are legit. Uh, they're prescription glasses. I wish they were sunglasses. That'd be a little bit cooler, but they're not. But we can still get like $25 to $28 for them. That's fine. Yeah. The next thing I got was a pair of sunglasses, and they are Tory Burch sunglasses. Ooh. Yeah, they're nice. They're a little scratched up because... Unfortunately, I didn't find them in the case. I found this case uh, at a different thrift store, but it was just the case, so I grabbed it because it was cheap. And luckily, I found a pair of sunglasses to put in it. But um, since they're a little scratched up, um, I'm going to start it at 55 Oh, that's still a lot. Yeah. Tory Burch is a good brand. I found that. That's probably the best find so far. I think you found these. Oh, these Your are cool, yeah. Your tennis shoes. Size... 13! Size 13 vintage. Are they vintage? We don't uh, know, I'm sure. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. <clears throat> I think they are. I think they are, but they're cool Reeboks. Mm -hmm. Clean them up a little bit. Um, these would be good for projects. 
custom to customize. There's a lot of people that paint their own, uh, customize their own sneakers, and, and you need white, right. white ones to start with. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to clean them up, and I'm going to start them at 38. Because we, oh, nice. we did pretty well with vintage or retro Reebok sneakers. Um, I thought I was going to say something about those. That they're big? Oh, I was going to ask you something. They're, they're huge, and I was going to ask you, do you know what size Shane Shack wears? Oh, no, but um, one time when I was a kid, they had his, the Shack one. Yeah. They had it at Foot Locker. Like in the his actual, size? The, yeah, in his <laughs> size. And I remember putting it on my hand, but I'll never forget it went, there used to be like a line on my hand anyway, but it went from the tip of my hand <laughs> all the way, almost to where my elbow is. It was like, there used to be like a little line on my hand, like right in front of it. And it's, so it's like, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like that big. Like from there, it's like size 20 or something like that. Yeah, like 18 crazy. or 20. I found another pair of sunglasses. These are super old. They're aviators and they say Goldwing on the top here. Oh, those are really cool. Yeah, they're super, super old. I actually couldn't find a comp, so I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna start an auction at auction. 15 just because I have no, there's no comps, like any, there's nothing that I saw it like this. Either that means I picked up a stupid item or... No, I think that's, I think that's good, actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, they, they came in this case. The case is kind of disintegrating inside. You know how the foam gets old, but... I would, think, cool. I would think they would sell for 50 or more. You think? Yeah. We'll see. If they were Ray-Ban, they would for sure. If they were Ray-Ban and they were that vintage... Was Ray-Ban... How, how long was Ray-Ban around? I don't know when they started, but there's some vintage Ray-Bans. you got to... Yes. I don't want to break it. Yeah. Okay. I'll let Yash talk about this. He found that. It's a Gore-Tex winter ski snowboard jacket. What's the brand? It's Aussie. O-S-S-I. Is this vintage? I think so. If, if you look at the tag, it looks pretty vintage. Yeah. It's got the kind of vintage-ish style. Oh, the buttons are cool. Yeah. I don't know how to describe what's going on here. It's a well-made jacket. It's pretty, it's it's good. I got yeah. it at $35. So. $35? Yeah. Check it in. Check it in. $35 bill, y'all. Yeah. I found this. We love finding hats. Uh, this is a new era world baseball World Series. Uh, World Baseball Classics hat. Right, classic. It's a fitted hat. It, it says Japan, and it's got the Japan flag here. Um, I have that right at 15. That's cool. Yeah. It'll probably sell fast because there's a lot more Japanese players that are playing in, in the MLB now. Yeah. There's one guy, he pitches and hits. Like a lot of, in the National League, pitchers right. hit. But they usually just like strike out. Yeah. This guy can actually. Really? Yeah, he can. He just got hurt though. Oh. Yash found this. He likes finding old man jackets. Come on now. It is. It's, it's just a, it's just a standard Columbia old man jacket. jacket. I have that at twenty four because I want it out the door. Twenty four out the door. Oh boy, I think you found this too. This is a nice one. This is a Cabo San Lucas, Baja, Mexico, oh. uh, Harley Davidson shirt. It's got the skull. Maybe the Ezekiel fire. Elliott will buy this for when he trains in Cabo next year. Hopefully he doesn't pull it out again. I have no idea what you're talking about. That one's good. So I have that at 18 to get it going. Get it going. I found these Lane Bryant jeans. I don't always pick up Lane Bryant unless I think it's like super trendy or fashionable or, you know, something like it's a 
substantial piece. These I grab because they look like they're in excellent condition. They're jeans, but they're like shiny almost, so they could be like more dressy. Um, and I just like them, so I grab them. And I think I have these at $28. Some jeans sell really well for like Lane Bryant and Torrid. Me, me, me. I think you found these. These are diesel jeans. Yeah. I don't find diesel jeans hardly ever. I'm get, we're starting to get better at jeans. Yeah. Recognizing which jeans. Nothing much to talk about here. They're, Just they're, black in, yeah, diesel they're jeans. in good shape. They're like, I don't know if they've ever been worn before. They don't look like they're it. They're pretty small and skinny. Yeah. They're, they're a good style, so I have them at 28. There you go. Making it happen. And you know how we love our vintage windbreakers. This is an official sports United States Soccer Federation jacket, windbreaker. And it's cool, it says USA on the back, and it's like the color block thing. So I have this at 24. And did you find this or did I find this? Uh, I think I, I remember. I think you did. Oh, I found this too. This is. I thought this was cool. It's the um, Atlanta Olympics. It's just a crew neck sweatshirt. Um, obviously, it's vintage. Um, and I have this at twenty dollars. Whoa. Starter Avalanche sweatshirt crew neck. It's in really good shape. XL. Uh, I got this one at $26. I think I found that. We've found one of those. Before. We have more found more than one of those recently. Uh, I don't know, yeah, because I know we have one that's like Logo Athletics or something like that, but oh, I'm not yeah. sure if we have an Avalanche starter like that one. But it looks similar. I found this. It's a champion oh, dress. Oh, it's supposed to be a dress. Yeah, it's like a dress. It's hooded. It's got the C logo right here, the embroidered one. It's got the spell out logo here. And then, I thought there was another place, so I guess not. But um, it's in good condition. Um, there's, I didn't, couldn't really find a comp for it. Um, so I have it at uh, $32, just because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to underprice it because it's unique. I've never seen anything yeah, like this. Yeah, so, that's still a good um, deal. I, I thought, and then it, obviously if it doesn't sell, then we'll go back and I'll, adjust the price, but we'll let you know how much it goes for. This is a year find. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Really vintage yep. JC Penny uh, Western style. Yep, it's got sure. the snap buttons. It's pretty cool. This material up top is like a it's like quilt. It's like, or well, a rug it's like material. Yeah, like a blanket. Blanket, <laughs> yeah. Like a, it's almost like a Navajo yeah. rug style. Yeah, exactly. With some dark blue, like, pearl snap ish buttons. This is actually really sweet. I don't I think. Yeah, I don't, it is. I it's don't more know like, I, think it's I, don't, I don't like the collar, to be honest, because it looks like it's from the 70s. Oh, there's a hole in here. So. I, I like the shirt in general, but I just wish the collar wasn't like. Yeah, there, there is. The look at how I, I thought it was. Look at how long the collar yeah. stays. <laughs> yeah, that's how. That's how the. This is totally a seventies <laughs> collar. Yeah. Anyways, I put hipster in the key, as the keyword, so we can probably get it out of here for eighteen. Get, get it, it out of now. here. Physically, do not have room. <laughs> we don't. 
We need to get out. That's the only reason we're selling this stuff. We <laughs> physically do not have any room, you guys. And we physically, no one would ever wear that shirt. Well, like somebody <laughs> hopefully will. I'm talking about us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, uh, maybe you should watch those sales audio manuals. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is this. Polo sweatshirt. It's a zip up. It's got the big pony logo. I checked and it's legit. It's not fake. It's a XLT, so that's good. The um the tall tall ones we can get a little bit more for because they're a little bit more. Oh rare. yeah, you can remember we found a fake one and you can totally oh, yeah. tell on the logo like it gets really ratty. Yeah, and on the logo. Yeah, and this part two because like the size was like going over to the other side right yeah that's you can tell that's really detailed yeah uh this one i have at 24. it's a good one you found that this is a texas longhorns nike reversible oh it's reversible yes yeah. reversible winter cap it's pretty cool. Texas is not, it used to be a powerhouse, but not so great anymore, but still pretty cool. How much? 15. So for 15. This is a zip up hoodie. It's called the hundreds. It's like skateboarding, that kind of thing. Um, we've sold this brand before, uh, and I don't pick up everything that I see, but more substantial pieces like sweatshirts, hoodies, and things like that. But this one I have rated at 18, and it's kind of cool. It's got this um, thing on the back, and it's like fuzzy like a rug. <laughs> it's the little bomb guy. Oh, right. Oh, you found this. Hey, d did you know that this guy has a name? No, what's his name? Petey. Petey the Pirate? Yeah. And it's not P-E-T-E-Y, like P -E -T -E -Y. it's P-D, like P-E-E-D-E-E. -E -E -E. Oh. East Carolina. Yeah, so this is a East Carolina, what's their mascot? Pirate? P-D, the pirate. Well, yeah, but what do they go by? They don't go the by pirates. the P-E-D's. Pirates. Pirates. Yeah, also in my research of East Carolina University, an alumni is Sandra Bullock. So, Sandra. Sandra. PD's waiting for you. You might need this. You know, you can wear this while you're in your trailer in between, in between scenes. The same. Yeah. I think it was Sandra Bullock. Hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully we didn't screw that up. Uh, Somebody good went there. <laughs> Yash found this. It's pretty... Cool, it's a Levi's winter jacket. It's like a charcoal color. It's got these, uh, what do you call these things? Wing snap snappers. It's just a snap. Little snapper. Shoulder thing. snap. Shoulder snap. I'm sure there's a name for that. It's interesting that the logo right here doesn't say Levi's. Um, it's just like the yeah. patch. Yeah. But I kind of like that actually. Yeah. Yeah, Although, this is really nice. It is a nice jacket. Um, I will warn you though, I mean for us anyways, we don't sell a whole lot of Levi's stuff that isn't jeans. It's hard to it's hard to sell shirts for us, even if they are the pearl snaps. We just can't get them out of here. So just be careful when you're buying Levi's stuff that, that isn't jeans. But that's like almost I, brand new. Yeah, I don't, so. I don't think that's... Uh gonna f take very long to sell if I was to guess just because it's, well, pretty, yeah. it's pretty unique. Yeah and I have it re at $24 so it's not gonna be like yeah, yeah it's it's not priced to sit around. Right. I found this it's like a corduroy type winter jacket it's faux fur the brand is called Kira I've never heard of it we looked it up while we were at the bins um, this particular jacket um, has sold before, rate right around $20, $22, so I put it up for $22. It's pretty heavy, too. It's corduroy. 
Uh, yeah, it's like, it, it's kind of like corduroy. <laughs> you don't like corduroy? No, I don't like that sound. Oh. Okay. It's like a... Ooh. I found these, and the funny thing is, is that Yash walked right by them. Right by them. Must have been like for audio tapes. <laughs> he was too busy looking for audio tapes. These are legit vintage Nike flight pants. Yeah, these are these are fire. Although they have the lots of they have Close lots up. of issues, so we won't be selling them. We're gonna keep these for ourselves just because there are way too many There's issues. There's a hole right in the crotch. But we had to get them. We couldn't just not get them. Yeah. Because they're so cool. But you know what? I, I never See realized this, but it's pretty oh, much yeah. worn out. So can, these are Jordan. Yeah, it's Jordan. But um, look at the... These are like... They're windbreaker pants, I think pants, they would still sell for like $100. They might, but there's a huge hole in the crotch. Yeah, I don't think it matters. But anyways, Nobody did you... Will fix it. Look at, there's a zipper. Crotch, the, there's a zipper for the crotch. I never saw that in oh, windbreaker well. pants. <laughs> Anyways, these are super cool. Yeah. They, they've been they've been well loved for sure, but we had to get them just because, you know. Yeah, we don't see vintage principle. Jordan ever. Right. That was like before they even before Jumpman brand was even created. Oh really? Yeah, that's why it has Nike on oh, the front. I wondered about that. Yeah, those are from like eight, like probably like eighty seven. Really? Yeah. Cool. Okay, these are Adriano Goldschmied pants. They're red. They're cute. They're skinny. Um, I got them right at 24. And they could be yours. They could be. They're in good condition. I like them. I wish they fit me. I would wear them. That's a cool red, like a, a nice hue of red. It's like tomato. Yeah, it is. A pomodoro tomato. No, it's not cool. Not, not quite uh, as dark as a San Marzano. More between a Pomodoro and a San Marzano. <laughs> Did you know that San Marzano tomatoes are taste so delicious because they're grown in uh, soil volcanic? That's near a volcano. In Italy. Yeah. Really? In the San Marzano region. Mm. Apparently, the volcano enriches the soil. Figure. The more you know. If you're making tomato sauce, use San Marzano tomatoes. Moving along. This is a Patagonia lamb's wool sweater. And it's a full zip up. It's kind of short. It's a men's medium. It's weirdly short. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like a perfect square. Yeah. Anyways, I got this at $28. Maybe Spongebob will buy that. It'll fit him perfectly. <laughs> I don't think you need to wear a lamb's wool sweater when you live in a pineapple under the sea. I don't know all that. You don't know... That Spongebob lives in a pineapple under the sea? No, I didn't know that. Sorry about it. 